a your spirit is active all the time um and what god is wanting most people to do is to realize that their spirit is functioning doing the heavenly stuff all the time so we can outwork the earthly stuff in a way without having to think about it without having to plan it or program it or do any of that so being enjoying that state of rest is the key for everything now uh, jesus when he was walking around he was in a state of rest with the father and knowing the father's heart the father didn't have to tell him specifically do this do this do this do this or don't do this he knew the father's heart because they were in relationship they were intimate so when jesus was walking around the father didn't say to him oh look out for people today to raise from the dead jesus came across let's say the widow of nain's son and then was moved by the compassion of the father's heart to raise that person from the dead because he knew it was what the father was doing but he didn't need a pre sort of whole list of things to do he just followed life so in a sense you don't have to be doing nothing to to be being being is a state of consciousness and awareness it's not a a reflection of what you're actually doing physically so you could physically go for a really nice long walk you could be out in the countryside you could be doing practical things i love gardening so i do a lot of gardening and while i'm gardening i'm so close to the father because the father plant planted gardens so i feel close to him even though i'm actively doing something physically i'm not doing it because i'm trying to do it in a way it's something i enjoy doing so i enjoy doing it but i am being i'm being me so being me is a creative expression of i like gardening and i can be physically very active in that garden but feel totally the pleasure of the father's heart of being like him and being with him while i'm doing things so it's not that i'm doing nothing i'm just not driven to do something in a spiritual sense so i don't have to oh i'm going to spend five hours in meditation i can be meditating and engaging with the father's heart while i'm gardening while i'm in my workshop making some stuff out of wood while i'm in a walk in the countryside or when i'm just laying in the sun just resting and relaxing and just enjoying being all of those things are an expression of my being even though physically i might be doing something so in a sense don't think you have to be doing nothing physically what you would wanted to be is doing nothing driven spiritually or doing something because you think you ought to or doing something because that's what christians do and all of that stuff you know that's not the the thing duty and obligation is not what it is but he wants you to enjoy life his unconditional love for you enables you to realize that his joy is in you so your joy can be full and overflowing so that means rejoicing and being thankful and being grateful and expressing thanksgiving and gratitude in your attitude towards god um just because you do i love thanking him it's wonderful thanking him for all the wonderful things that are happening in my life and for the fact that i've got a garden i can look after and the sun shining and then when it rains i can thank him because the ground needs watering you know i have this attitude which is an attitude of being and enjoying and fellowshipping and then you know i'm in a place of peace you know i'm not having to oh, i've got to do this i've got to do that i'm i'm at peace with myself i'm at peace in enjoying and if he wants to share with something with me or he wants to show me something or if he wants to take me somewhere great i'm available he can do that anytime he wants me to do to do something you know i'm active at night i'm i'm resting in the garden of my heart at night my spirit's active you know my spirit is active in multiple places at this point in time right now in the realms of heaven i don't need to be aware of what i'm doing but i'm flowing from that realm everything i'm doing is contributing for me to be here and enjoy now there are times when you're in life and you're around and you see something and you just know it's the father's desire for you to be involved in that great but if you're in a season where he's teaching you just to be probably there are less of those occasions but there may still be an occasion which you feel led or you feel the compassion of god that moves you that's great so i would encourage you not to try and overanalyze everything or not trying to um you know it feels weird weird sometimes to do nothing all day you're not doing nothing all day 
In fact, your spirit is very, very active all the time. And what you're doing is enjoying life. That is the, the normal is to just be and be aware of the Father's presence in everything. He's with you wherever you are, whatever you're doing, he's with you. He wants you to enjoy it. He doesn't want you to feel obliged or duty led or pressured into anything. He wants you to enjoy it. And that enjoyment is what he is at pleasure with that. He loves it when we're enjoying his creation. He loves it when we're just basically lying around, just meditating and just being and just resting in his presence. He loves that too. So there isn't a one thing fits all. Every day can be something different. Every day can be something where you do something different. But none of that is you're doing it from the wrong motive. You can just be while you're active or while you're doing nothing, you know, practically or physically. It is, there's there's got to be one or the other. Just enjoy the life that you have and, and enjoy being who you are in the realms of it. Your destiny is who you are. And who you are will will lead to you at working who you are in everyday life as it comes along. But don't pressure be pressurized into anything. And don't be worried about what other people think that's up to them. You know, they've got their own thoughts. You you just need to be comfortable with being you. Um, and if that's a new season of growth and whatever, that's great. Um, and that season may change and that season might go into being in a different way. Uh, but I would guarantee that your spirit is very active and you're benefiting from that activity by just learning to take this time to appreciate and enjoy and celebrate life. I think that's the word celebrate. Celebrate the life that you have and enjoy it because God wants you to be in that place of, of pure bliss and rest. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.